Warning, this particular episode is going to be just jam-packed with thrilling mature content. We're talking all about scandalous historical events, complete with graphic descriptions to really titillate your senses. Listener discretion is advised. Please, won't somebody please think of the children? And just a tiny little thing to keep in mind. We all love being interrupted by ads while trying to enjoy some precious historical content. It's not like we could do without those ever so fascinating paid promotions that miraculously support the podcast's production costs. But hey, who needs an uninterrupted historical journey when you can have some good old product placements, right? Broadcasting live from an undisclosed bunker, it's the Reasonably Priced Time Machine podcast with your host, Professor Ryan Lancaster. Also featuring a good dose of mediocrity from the talents of Archie and Hildy. Episode 61, Bridging the Gap. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Reasonably Priced Time Machine podcast. Because who needs to save the planet when you can just escape to the past, am I right? Time travel on a budget. The true American dream. And now, in today's episode we'll be diving into the exciting world of prehistoric time zones. Buckle up folks because we're going all the way back. Precambrian, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic. It's not like we're bringing back dinosaurs, but hey, we've got anecdotes. Yes, because who cares about the future when we can reminisce about the land bridge connecting continents. Right. So, if you've got a reasonably priced time machine and a flair for apocalyptic nostalgia, stick around. You might just learn something that will make you wonder why you left your cozy bunker in the first place. Or not. Tune in folks, because here in our world, the past is cheap and the future is. Well, who knows? Introduction Once upon a time, Long before anyone could even fathom selfies or fast food, the Earth was brewing up its grand design. Over billions of years, the molten core bubbled and toiled, giving rise to continents and land masses that would eventually host the United States. It's a geological saga that rivals any epic tale of conquest and intrigue. In a remarkably swift geological timescale, roughly 15,000 years ago, an incredible transformation occurred as Native Americans emerged and indelibly influenced the world. With an unparalleled understanding of their surroundings, they chose their habitation wisely, showing a remarkable grasp of the landscape. This profound bond with the natural world permeated every aspect of their existence, shaping their language, culture, spirituality, and governance in ways that left an enduring impact on history. Their legacy is genuinely awe-inspiring. But then, as luck would have it, European explorers entered the stage, all swagger and ambition. Led by Christopher Columbus, they sailed forth to claim their stake in the New World. And stake claims they did, establishing colonies that would later become the good old U.S. Yet, like many grand tales of conquest, this one wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. The arrival of the Europeans spelled disaster for the Native American populations. Forced from their ancestral lands, plagued by disease and violence, their world turned upside down. It's a grim reminder that history's heroes and villains often intertwine. But hold on tight because this story has its moments of brilliance too. The Declaration of Independence in 1776 marked a turning point, a daring declaration of freedom, equality, and a newfound pursuit of happiness. It was the blueprint for a nation, with the Constitution laying down the ground rules for limited government and individual rights, and the nation's economic boom. Well, that was thanks to Mother Nature's generous gifts. From fertile farmlands to riches buried deep in the earth, the United States struck it big. Industrialization and prosperity became the name of the game. Alas, there's no escaping the shadows cast by the past. The enduring impact of colonization casts long shadows, leaving behind a haunting inheritance of suffering and disparity for both Native Americans and African Americans. The environmental consequences are equally distressing as exploitation exacts its toll and its reckoning remains pending. Yet, confronting these harsh realities, however unsettling, is imperative. We can forge a path toward a more promising future only by acknowledging our history. 
drawing wisdom from the trials and victories of the past, embracing the richness of diversity, and tirelessly advocating for equality shall unlock the door to a brighter and more hopeful tomorrow. So let this tapestry of history serve as a guidepost, a reminder of the United States journey from a geological marvel to a land of dreams and opportunities. As we embark on our journey forward, let us draw wisdom from our history, rectify our errors, and forge a harmonious alliance in the noble quest for justice, parity, and safeguarding our delicate abode. Together, hand in hand, we shall inscribe the forthcoming narrative infused with astuteness, sagacity, and empathy that emanates from the depths of our souls. Precambrian Era Welcome to the astonishing Precambrian Era, an unfathomable period preceding the recognizable traces of fossils. Spanning an astounding 4.6 billion years of Earth's rich history, the Precambrian Era encompasses an awe-inspiring 90% of that captivating journey, reaching back in time until approximately 600 million years in the past. Let us delve into the significance of investigating this remarkable era in contemporary times and explore its intricate links to the history of the United States. Prepare for the emergence of early life forms, the mind-blowing impact of oxygen, the rise and fall of the supercontinent Rodinia, and the few traces it left behind in the United States. During the Precambrian era, around 1.4 billion years ago near Beck Spring, California, some amazing stuff happened. We're talking about the oldest known eukaryotes, photosynthetic organisms that changed life on Earth forever. These guys produced oxygen as a byproduct of their existence. They transformed the atmosphere, paving the way for oxygen-breathing organisms to take center stage. This led to the great oxygenation event. Oxygen flooded the atmosphere thanks to those early photosynthetic organisms during the Precambrian era. This event was a game changer in Earth's history. It gave rise to complex multicellular life forms and ultimately shaped the incredible diversity of life we see today. This oxygenation also sets the stage for aerobic organisms that need oxygen to survive and thrive. After the first eukaryotic cells appeared, signs of multicellular life started popping up in the fossil record. Around a billion years ago, in the rocks of Nevada, we can find trace fossils left behind by burrowing worms. These sneaky traces offer a glimpse into the lives of early organisms and their interactions with the world during the Precambrian era. One of the notable occurrences in the Precambrian era revolved around the emergence and subsequent fragmentation of a colossal land mass known as Rodinia. This significant event unfolded approximately 1.1 billion years ago and gradually disintegrated around 750 million years ago. While traces of Rodinia's continental clashes can be discerned in present-day North America, there needs to be more evidence within the confines of the United States. Let us establish connections. Delving into the study of the Precambrian era proves instrumental in comprehending the historical narrative of the United States and the intricate processes that shaped the continent. The relics of continental collisions attributed to Rodinia's formation aid in unraveling the geological timeline of North America. For instance, consider the Grenville orogeny, which occurred during Rodinia's assembly and has left a distinctive geological imprint in the northeastern region of the United States. Exploring these remnants gives geologists a peek into ancient tectonic events that shaped the U.S. Exploring the mysteries of the Precambrian era unveils the astonishing chronology of Earth's historical events. This exploration allows us to understand better life's evolution on our planet and the profound influence that geological and biological mechanisms have had on shaping our present-day world. The Precambrian era resembles an exhilarating expedition through Earth's ancient times, divulging the enigmatic enigmas of life's progression and the powerful forces that have molded our planet. From the emergence of photosynthetic organisms and the consequential release of oxygen to the ebb and flow of the colossal supercontinent Rodinia, the Precambrian era is an invaluable repository of ancient marvels. By delving into its study today, we acquire a passageway to uncover the historical tapestry of life, fathom the intricacies of geological processes, and marvel at the interdependencies inherent in our planet's intricate systems. Paleozoic Era 
During a distant time spanning from 541 to 252 million years in the past, an era known as the Paleozoic period made an enduring impact on the annals of Earth's chronicle. Within this time, generations of immense geological and biological transformation unfolded, witnessing the flourishing and demise of archaic life forms, the ascent and descent of supercontinents, and the gradual formation of the familiar world we inhabit today. Let's delve into the Paleozoic era's relevance to U.S. history, illuminating the remarkable plants that bestowed the gift of fossil seeds, the tectonic ballet that influenced North America's destiny, and the cataclysmic swan song of mass extinction. It also underscores the pressing importance of studying this era, drawing from its historical significance, environmental implications, and potential lessons for our future. Once upon a time, in the primordial dance of botanical evolution, the Paleozoic era witnessed a pivotal moment, the emergence of plants that dared to bear seeds. Among them, an extinct group known as seed ferns played a starring role. Flourishing in the era's verdant swamps and dense thickets, these extraordinary plants left fossilized seeds as their eternal legacy behind. These ancient seeds, carefully preserved in the rock record, whisper enchanting tales of the evolution of seed plants. By deciphering these botanical hieroglyphics, intrepid scientists can trace the origins of the seed-bearing plants that grace our modern world, granting us profound insights into shaping terrestrial ecosystems. 323 million years ago, the grand theater of continental drift pushed and pulled, coaxing the southeastern United States into an intimate embrace with North America. Thus, the supercontinent Pangaea slowly unveiled its majestic countenance. This epic transcontinental journey wielded a seismic influence over North America's geological tapestry, the convergence of continents, birthing the ancestral Rockies, their jagged peaks a testament to the titanic forces at play. These mighty peaks sculpted the very canvas upon which life danced, dictating climate patterns and governing the distribution of plant and animal species. And as the land masses merged, as coastlines metamorphosed, even the oceanic currents danced to a different rhythm, nurturing diverse marine ecosystems, such as the colossal reefs of Texas, shimmering like underwater utopias. The Paleozoic era witnessed a symphony of environmental changes, a grand crescendo of transformation. As ancient seas receded, their liquid embrace relinquishing the land, the heart of the United States emerged, glistening with the remnants of salty waters. Kansas, New Mexico, and Texas all became resting grounds for salt deposition, like crystalline footprints marking the path of history. In the arid hinterlands of the western United States, where the sun's fiery caress was relentless, there were dry dunes that swayed in the wind, painting the landscape with their ochre hues. These shifting sands set the stage for a panoply of life where diverse insects buzzed and gigantic amphibians reigned supreme. Alas, every era must end, and the Paleozoic era's curtain call was marked by a harrowing finale, the Permian-Triassic mass extinction. Approximately 298 million years ago, nature unleashed her merciless fury, extinguishing up to 96% of all species in a cataclysmic display of power. The echoes of this catastrophic event reverberated across the United States and beyond. From the enigmatic trilobites, once masters of the ancient seas, to the myriad architects of sprawling reefs of Texas, legions of organisms perished, leaving a void in the fabric of life. The repercussions rippled through ecosystems, remolding the destiny of our planet as new species, born from the ashes, embraced the dawning Mesozoic era. The study of the Paleozoic era holds a profound significance in our contemporary world, for it illuminates the path trodden by life upon this pale blue dot. It offers us a vantage point, a historical lens through which we can glimpse the intricate interplay of geological and biological forces that shape our existence. From the ethereal fossil remains of plants and animals to the geological enigmas enshrined in rock, this era reveals a tapestry woven by time, enabling us to reconstruct ancient ecosystems and fathom the essence of their evolution. However, the significance of the Paleozoic era reaches far beyond mere sentimentality and scientific curiosity. Its historical alterations, triggered by the ancient dance of continents and the unpredictable whims of climate, hold timeless teachings for humanity. 
By comprehending past changes' repercussions, we better understand the intricate interconnectedness that governs our world, where cause and effect are delicately intertwined. Equipped with this wisdom, we possess enhanced capabilities to navigate the ongoing global environmental transformations that confront us, particularly the looming challenge of climate change. In essence, the Paleozoic era serves as a somber reminder that life is fragile and teeters on a delicate equilibrium. Through its enduring imprints in the records of time, the Permian-Triassic mass extinction conveys a solemn cautionary message about the dangers that can occur in our ecosystems. We must embrace conservation endeavors to safeguard and nurture the diverse array of species that adorn our planet. We must pay homage to those that have perished and strive to forge a path that preserves biodiversity and ensures the well-being of our irreplaceable abode. In conclusion, unfurled with majestic wonder, the Paleozoic era etched its presence in our planet's geological and biological tapestry. Its ancient plants, the custodians of fossil seeds, and the dance of continents that forged North America's destiny remind us of our deep roots in history. The final extinction, a haunting elegy to ancient life, casts a long shadow of remembrance. Yet, the importance of studying this era extends far beyond nostalgia, shedding light on the interplay of Earth's history, environmental changes, and the urgent need for conservation. And now, a short commercial break and a word from our sponsors. Today, we have a mind-boggling sponsor that will challenge everything you thought you knew. Get ready to open your minds because we're bringing you a commercial for... Nothing. That's right folks. Nothing. The ultimate experience, the pinnacle of existence. Imagine a world free from the constraints of form, substance, and meaning. It's not just an absence, it's an opportunity. Think about it. In a world inundated with information, stuff, and distractions, nothing offers you the chance to escape it all. No more clutter, no more noise, just pure, unadulterated nothing. You might be wondering, what can I do with nothing? The answer is... Everything. Nothing is the canvas upon which you can paint your wildest dreams, or grandest visions, or even just revel in the tranquility of emptiness. And don't worry folks, nothing is absolutely versatile. It fits into any lifestyle. Whether you're a meditator seeking enlightenment, or a minimalist decluttering your space, nothing has got you covered. But wait, there's more. For a limited time, we're offering our listeners a chance to embrace nothing like never before. Enter the code NOTHINGNESS at checkout, and you'll receive... Well, absolutely nothing. That's right, the code is just as empty as the void we're selling. So, what are you waiting for? Dive into the depths of nothing. Embrace the void, let go of the tangible, and bask in the glory of emptiness. And remember, dear listeners, in a world filled with something, sometimes the most revolutionary choice you can make is to choose... nothing. And now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Mesozoic Era the Mesozoic era is a crucial time in Earth's intricate narrative, that vast expanse of time spanning approximately 250 to 65 million years ago. Within this ancient era, the eastern United States emerged as a central player on the stage of the supercontinent Pangaea before destiny's hand sundered the continental bonds. The reign of reptilian life across marine, terrestrial, and aerial realms earned this time its evocative moniker, the Age of Reptiles. 
We will explore the Mesozoic era, situating it within the context of U.S. history and highlighting its enduring relevance. Moreover, we dare to venture into the shadowed realm of mass extinctions, deciphering their impacts and unearthing the nuanced shades of positivity and negativity that emanate from these colossal upheavals. The eastern United States found itself nestled within the very heartland of Pangaea during the dawn of the Mesozoic era, the Triassic period. It was a juncture when reptilian ascendancy began to take hold, signaling the advent of an age defined by scaly majesty. In the eastern realms of the U.S., remnants of dinosaurs from antiquity, dating back approximately 225 million years, yield priceless glimpses into the evolutionary tapestry and the variegated forms of these primordial creatures. As the Triassic period neared its end, the tapestry of Pangaea began to fray, rending the continents asunder and setting in motion transformative geological processes. Along the eastern coastline, rift valleys materialized, an eloquent testament to the parting of ways between the North American plate and its erstwhile continental allies, which included the nascent Atlantic Ocean. These tectonic paroxysms engendered diverse ecological shifts, forever imprinting their mark upon the eastern United States and the tapestry of its climatic conditions. The curtain fell on the Triassic period with a cataclysmic mass extinction event that reverberated across the globe, consigning numerous amphibian and reptilian species to the annals of extinction. This dark chapter in the Mesozoic saga helped mold the evolutionary trajectory that unfolded in the future. By delving into the crucible of these extinctions, we unravel the fragile tapestry of ecosystems and perceive the resolute imperative for environmental conservation that endures today. In the early Jurassic, the eastern United States luxuriated in the embrace of a warmer and more humid climate due to its proximity to the burgeoning Atlantic Ocean. In this newfound intimacy with the oceanic expanse, the region became infused with moistened air, altering the tapestry of its local ecosystems. The early Jurassic witnessed the unparalleled proliferation of mammals and dinosaurs alike, the formidable Apatosaurus, the majestic Diplodocus, and the fearsome Allosaurus. Unlike its geological brethren, the Jurassic period did not witness a grand, sweeping extinction event. Instead, smaller scale extinctions danced subtly across time, showcasing the intricate interplay between environmental factors and the ceaseless dance of evolution. By heeding the wisdom from these smaller scale extinctions, we understand the delicate equilibrium that sustains the wondrous tapestry of biodiversity and the complex ecosystems that foster it. Approximately 70 million years in the past, during the twilight of the Mesozoic era's final act, the late Cretaceous, the Gulf of Mexico extended its reach across the North American expanse, submerging vast swaths of the continent beneath its azure embrace. The resulting western interior seaway influenced states such as Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Colorado, Kansas, the Dakotas, Wyoming, and distant Alaska. Within the embrace of these sunken lands, an abundant treasure trove of fossils awaited discovery, with Montana taking center stage as the stage upon which iconic dinosaurs like Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus etched their indelible mark. The Cretaceous period ended with an apocalyptic symphony of destruction orchestrated by one of Earth's most harrowing mass extinction events, the KT extinction. Its spectral touch reached across the globe, extinguishing the flame of life for approximately half of all animal families. A celestial intruder in the form of a meteorite stands as the most widely embraced explanation for this cataclysm, as its collision reverberated through the fabric of existence, yielding climatic and environmental convulsions of staggering proportions. The demise of the dinosaurs remains an enduring symbol, epitomizing the transformative power of such monumental events. Apprehending the Mesozoic era and its tapestry of events is to unravel the fabric of U.S. history and the splendid unfolding of geological evolution. This wisdom bequeaths a profound understanding of the interconnected symphony that binds Earth's natural phenomena, climatic rhythms, and the glorious pageantry of life. By plumbing the depths of past mass extinctions and embracing their profound ramifications, we are imbued with invaluable insights into the current tempest of biodiversity loss that ensnares our planet. 
Moreover, the study of ancient ecosystems illuminates how climate change and human activities inflict their weight upon the fragile tapestry of modern habitats, bestowing us a clarion call for concerted conservation efforts. The Mesozoic era, with its profound transformative power, ushered the eastern United States onto the global stage of Pangaea before its eventual dispersal. The dominion of reptilian life, the haunting specter of mass extinctions, and the emergence of a cornucopia of diverse ecosystems cast an indelible imprint upon the evolutionary odyssey of life. By plumbing the depths of these hallowed annals, we unravel the intricate tapestry of Earth's grand narrative, yielding a profound appreciation for the indissoluble bond between the arc of geological history, the ever-encroaching specter of climate change, and the precarious precipice upon which our planet now finds itself teetering. Cenozoic Era from the ancient depths of 66 million years past to our current age, the Cenozoic era presents a captivating tableau of Earth's ever-changing narrative. Prepare yourself for an exhilarating journey across an era marked by tumultuous climatic shifts, the rise of mammals as dominant figures, and a breathtaking proliferation of botanical wonders unlike any witnessed before. Within the Cenozoic era lies a trove of awe-inspiring discoveries, shedding light on our planet's history, the intricate dynamics of its surroundings, and the emergence of varied life forms. Dive deep into this subject, and you'll come out with a brain buzzing with insights into Earth's climate system and the sobering consequences of ecological upheaval. In the early chapters of the Cenozoic era, things were cooking on planet Earth. The global climate became much warmer than your average summer day in the Mojave Desert. It didn't matter where you were on this whirling ball of chaos, the climate was rocking the same tune everywhere. The temperature begins fluctuating, and forests once ruled in North America take a step back as the mercury drops. Enter open lands and grasslands, painting a new picture on the canvas of this ever-evolving world. The Great Lakes decided to throw a party in the western United States, providing a sweet crib for freshwater species like trout. Forests began morphing into grasslands, and lakes popped up like mushrooms after a rainstorm. Now, brace yourselves for the main attraction, the star-studded feature film that gave the Cenozoic era its nickname, the Age of Mammals. Dinosaurs, those giant reptilian studs, finally meet their maker and make way for the rise of the underdogs, the small, scrappy mammals itching for their chance in the spotlight. Tiny horses and rodents strutting, taking center stage, and stealing the show. But they're just the opening act. The big guns come roaring in, one after another, elephants, dogs, cats, pigs. You name it, and they're all throwing their weight around. Ovids, those shaggy beasts of the plains, are flourishing like nobody's business. Think cattle, sheep, goats, antelope, and gazelle, strutting around like they own the place. Behold the grand entrance of colossal cave lions, saber-toothed cats, majestic giant deer, formidable woolly rhinoceroses, and magnificent woolly mammoths, gracing the stage in a captivating prehistoric spectacle. Behold this compelling assemblage of remarkable beings from the Cenozoic era, effortlessly seizing the audience's undivided attention. Now, let us redirect our focus towards the United States, as within the boundless expanse of this land, a bountiful reserve of wisdom awaits from the Cenozoic era. Exploring this abundant fabric of time enables us to unearth the deep-seated origins of this esteemed nation. It transcends the boundaries of ancient history, unraveling a compelling narrative of geological transformations and ecological wonders that have indelibly shaped the very essence of America. By peering into the changes in plant life and the evolving menagerie of animal species, we get a glimpse into the natural resources that painted the canvas of indigenous populations and early settlers. The transition from forests to grasslands profoundly impacted Native American tribes like the Plains Indians, influencing their migrations and hunting strategies. And let's not forget the mega-extinction party that wiped out the heavyweight contenders and forced early human societies to adapt to new environmental conditions and seek out alternative grub. The Cenozoic era is the map that guides us through the tangled pathways of U.S. history, shining a light on the forces that shaped the land we call home. But hold on because the Cenozoic era has even more tricks. This epic tale of yesteryear played a critical role in shaping modern-day agriculture. 
The flourishing of flowering plants and edible crops during the latter part of the era laid the foundation for the cornucopia of cultivated delights that grace our dinner plates today. We're talking corn, wheat, rice, and fruits that are the bread and butter of this nation's agriculture and economy. The Cenozoic era didn't merely create an opportunity for a diverse range of mammals. It established the foundation for a remarkable culinary transformation that propelled the ascendance of the human race. In this period, the flourishing vegetation made a lasting impact on our dining experiences and tastes. Nevertheless, it is crucial to acknowledge that the Cenozoic era was not exclusively characterized by harmony and delight. It harbored a concealed darkness and obscured underbelly. The demise of the colossal dinosaurs, while paving the way for the rise of majestic mammals, also resulted in ecological devastation. The vanishing of megafauna, those massive and iconic creatures such as woolly mammoths, triggered a ripple effect, shaking ecosystems and disrupting the delicate equilibrium of life. Moreover, we must recognize the turbulent climate fluctuations and the spread of vast grasslands during that era. These changes pushed certain plant and animal species to the brink of extinction, clinging to survival by a thread. With all its marvels, the Cenozoic era presented a paradoxical symphony of creation and devastation. So, what can we learn from this extraordinary expedition across time? The Cenozoic era embodies a priceless repository of knowledge regarding Earth's ancient climate, the rise and fall of species, and the intricate interplay of ecosystems. In our ever-evolving world, comprehending this era is akin to donning celestial spectacles that allow us to decipher our planet's tumultuous environmental journey. It is an accelerated course in learning the challenges and prospects of climate change, the loss of biodiversity, and the unsettling disruptions to ecosystems. Equipped with this understanding, we can make well-informed decisions and devise sustainable strategies to navigate the uncharted territories of the future. The Cenozoic era serves as our guiding map and offers a glimpse into the past that holds the key to a brighter tomorrow. The Land Bridge The Land Bridge, that dusty connection stretching its weary limbs between eastern Siberia and present-day Alaska, played a crucial role in the tale of those early human wanderers who sought solace in the embrace of the Americas. Emerging like a ghostly apparition during the last ice age, it whispered promises of new beginnings and untrodden paths. And so, with the glaciers melting and the chill of the unknown thawing their restless hearts, a small band of misfits embarked on a migration like no other. In 14,480 BCE, these brave souls crossed into Beringia, traversing that elusive threshold into the sacred realms of the Americas. A daring dance upon the stage of destiny, it preceded the vanishing act of the land bridge itself, succumbing to the icy depths around 9,000 BCE. And thus, the curtains lifted on the grand theater of the Paleo-Indian stage, that era of change and wonder that would reshape history. Those early Paleo-Americans, seekers of fortune and salvation, scattered like seeds upon the fertile soil of a land reborn. They roamed from sea to shining sea, their footsteps weaving a tapestry of cultures as diverse as the constellations above. Clovis and Falsum, names etched in the annals of time, marked the pulse of progress during those ancient days. The Clovis folk, masters of the spear, wielded their fluted points with deadly precision, piercing the hides of megafauna that once roamed wild and free. In the Falsum tradition, born of skill and artistry, crafted their mighty tools, a testament to the prowess of a hunting culture that defied the odds. Around 8000 BCE, a group of Nadine speakers ventured into North America, their presence resonating through time. Like a flowing stream of individuals, they gracefully made their way to the Pacific Northwest, drawn inexorably to a destination imprinted upon the very essence of their aspirations. Traversing the expanse of the Pacific coast, they left an enduring imprint upon the land as if etching their passage with every step. The Navajo and Apache, their descendants, softly recounted tales of ancient triumphs, faithfully safeguarding the heritage of those early days. In their seasonal settlements, they erected their abodes with lofty aspirations, symbolic representations of a societal structure painstakingly forged amidst the crucible of existence. To study the land bridge, to delve into its mysteries and grasp its significance, is to unlock the vaults of our shared past. 
It illuminates the ancient origins of our human tapestry, woven with threads of culture and language. Within these migrations lie the secrets of the Native American tribes and nations, their vibrant heritage sculpting the contours of the United States we know today. Amidst the rugged terrain and ever-shifting tides, a remarkable essence emerges, the unyielding resolve of our ancestors, those intrepid trailblazers of yore. They embrace change with graceful agility, their very beings shaped by the forces of nature. Across perilous landscapes, they pressed on, crafting fresh existences and refining their hunting prowess, all in pursuit of mastering the art of staying alive. Their narratives of victory amidst hardship witness the limitless inventiveness and resilience inherent in the human soul. But let us not shy away from the shadows that haunt this saga. With these Paleo-Americans' arrival came the echoes of ecological change, whispers of extinction that resonated through the land. Once proud and mighty, Megafauna met its demise at the hands of human colonization. And so, in studying the impact of our forefathers on the environment, we uncover lessons that resonate even in the modern era. In our present debates about our interactions with the natural world, the land bridge migration holds a mirror to our actions and demands introspection. The land bridge and its tales of migration etch themselves into the marrow of U.S. history. The arrival of those early pioneers, the birth of diverse cultures, and the emergence of complex societies laid the foundation for the Native American tribes and nations that stand proud today. In peering through the lens of this subject, we gain not just a mere understanding, but a deep, soulful appreciation of our shared history, the resilience of human communities, and the intricate dance between humans and their environment. Let's give a shout out to the fantastic team behind the scenes. Our executive producers, Ryan Lancaster and Ryan Lancaster, have been the driving force. Thanks to Ryan Lancaster, our sound engineer, for ensuring our voices sound their best. Ryan Lancaster's music composition adds that perfect touch to each episode. Our diligent research team, consisting of Ryan Lancaster and Ryan Lancaster, provides valuable insights. And a nod to Ryan Lancaster and Ryan Lancaster handling all things marketing and promotion. Special thanks to our families and friends for their unwavering support and the entire creative community. And, of course, a massive shout out to our listeners. Your feedback keeps us motivated. We're proud to have recorded this episode at the Ryan Lancaster Studios, our creative hub. Remember, the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are solely those of Ryan Lancaster and our guests. Until next time, I'm Professor Ryan Lancaster, and this is the RPTM Podcast. Congratulations, dear listeners, you've survived another riveting episode of the Reasonably Priced Time Machine podcast. I'm sure you're all thrilled to have spent your precious time on a podcast that takes you on a journey to the past, and by that, I mean the golden era of dial-up internet and brick-sized cell phones. But don't worry, we're here to remind you that no matter how advanced technology gets, we'll always find a way to look back at it nostalgically while struggling to remember where we left our car keys. If you've managed to maintain your sanity after this roller coaster of reminiscence, you might want to check out the show notes, conveniently located on the website ryanglancaster.com, because who doesn't love sifting through web pages? And hey, if this auditory trip down memory lane hasn't completely crushed your spirits, be sure to rate us on whatever platform you're using to stream this auditory antiquity, because your feedback truly keeps us stuck in the past.